Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden. Today, we'll be checking out the band My Last Whisper for the first time on the channel with their song Dark Wasteland featuring Marcus Mitala. Alright, so uh, that name sounds familiar. So I'm going to start off by looking it up because uh, I'm sure I've heard that before. I must have. He's a musical artist. Who has he played for? Uh, he played with My Last Whisper. Okay. There's a miscellaneous stuff. That's all I can find him under. I don't know. I, I, I thought I'd heard the name before, but I can't find anything else on him. Um, it says here he's producer, mastering, and mixing, but uh, it says here he's on the track, so he's also been co-engineering for another band called Mustaine Kun Lapsit. Uh, so anyway, this is off the album Embers of Eden by My Last Whisper. Uh, let's jump in and see what these guys have to offer. They're from Sweden. Fire metal. Standing in corners alone, contemplating the souls that we so long we forever condemned for the Lord. And our entrance to heaven's on hold. We are leaving the light. Sounds weird. Nothing. It's uh, it had a weird feeling like the lyrics, the way they were singing over the instrumentals came off a little weird there in some parts. And the mix is a little weird too. Sweet solo though. Nice. Sweet way to go back in. Nice. The sweet ending. The build up like coming up the sun just going all out on it. Alright. 
So that was My Last Whisper, their song Dark Wasteland featuring Marcus Mitella. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, the mix wasn't the best. There was a few, I felt like there was a few elements of the track that seemed it was way lower on volume compared to some of the others. Um, the vocals seemed, you know, decently high. I could hear the drums. Sometimes the bass was kind of low in the mix, stuff like that. So it was, it was a little off, I found, for that. Um, and the start felt a little weird vocally, like just, the, I don't know why, it just didn't seem to feel like the vocals matched with the instrumental. Um, like it just didn't seem to fit together well, but once we got about halfway through and to the end, it just got pretty great. I, I really enjoyed the solo. Uh, I enjoyed the build, that build-up vocal after, and then going all out at the end is just a, a nice combo. Um, not the most impressive thing we've ever heard out of Sweden, because uh, usually I'm pretty blown away. It didn't blow me away this time, but... Uh, Still better uh, than some other stuff I've checked out on the channel, that's for sure. Uh, still still pretty decent stuff for uh, coming from the channel. It's called Unknown Power Metal on YouTube. Uh, you know, it means it's, they might not be that well known, so uh, it's still pretty good for finding a random, a random band that no one really knows about, you know? So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this one out. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.